Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hard Thing Family Farms, and today, it's kind of the tail end of the previous video. You guys go check that out for one. But I want to do this all in one video. The, today we are going to put on the trial of Rhizosorb. So Rhizosorb partnered up with me and they gave me a 20 acre sample to try of their product because they believe in it. And honestly, after talking with them, I really like what I'm hearing. So we are going to partner with them all throughout this year to basically show you guys how Rhizosorb does in a real world environment. So thank you Rhizosorb for sponsoring this video. So what we're going to do is I need to figure out how I can put this bulk bag into that spreader. This might be a little fun, a lot of fun. We'll see. I'll let you guys uh, put you. I'll put you guys on a time lapse so you can see my struggle. <sighs> this will be fun. Okay, that was one ton of Rhizosorb fertilizer. It's a little ways back there, so I'm gonna have to let the belt run for a little bit before I get product out. But so we're gonna do a trial. This is a replacement for MAP or DAP, whatever you wanna say, but it's a replacement for your phosphorus. So the key thing with Rhizosorb, and you guys really check out this first video if you guys wanna know more. The key thing with Rhizosorb is yes, you're putting on a little less of a rate, which will save you money in the long run, but they have a patented I don't know if it's a gene or coating, whatever you want to call it, but they have something patented, very smart, that control releases the phosphorus. It doesn't just give the phosphorus all right to your plant right away. It, if I'm saying potassium, I apologize, guys. But it doesn't release it right away. It basically is a slow controlled release. So instead of having all your stuff available within 30 days, only 30 days, like a normal map, it is a control release for over 60 to set over 60 days. So I'm really looking forward to it, guys. You're gonna get a true, a real trial with real results. So. We're gonna give you a shot. Let's go spread some fertilizer. Let's go spread some rhizosorb. Let's go learn. I'm an engineer, guys. I love experimenting, trying to make our farm better, more efficient, better stewards of the land. And this product really excites me. Let's go get her done. So here is my farm. Let's go ahead and spread some. Oh, about two feet. Two feet until it actually starts spreading. I'm just gauging it to when it when it will actually start coming out. Well, let's see how we're doing. Make sure it's coming out for one. Which it is. Let's go take a look and see how we're spreading. I guess this is a new product. I should pan test it, but it's only 20 acres, so I'm just gonna do my best. So here, right here is about 100 feet. So it should start seeing some. There they go. There it is, there's the rises orb. So basically I'm gonna do three chunks, block here, block there, block there. Just going to, like I said, just do, it should be a pretty good comparison. Cool. Two wet spots in through here. One there, one on that side. Honestly, she gets some tile to drain that. Okay, so in theory, I should have half the product that I have left. Climb back here and make sure. I have to turn the lights on because there's no one else around me to play the light game with. So I automatically win. Kind of the bad thing about the current setup I have is I don't have any scales. They have scale kits for these. That would tell me about exactly how much product I have left. But I don't have that. So I gotta make do with what I got. I basically have a little bit left. Not a lot. All done. Go ahead and go and park it now. There's my... Uh, there's my blocks. Sweet, that works, 20 acres right there. And we are done. Not too shabby. We're ready for tomorrow. Won't have a big day tomorrow. Well, I guess tomorrow, it's still this video. Won't have a big day because I gotta go to Des Moines for my nephew's birthday party, but 
you know what? We'll get some stuff done though. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this thing down. See you tomorrow, tractor. Okay, everyone, I am just heading home for the night. I'll catch you guys all in the morning. See ya. Well, Curtis is out running some gas. He's in the rocky part of the field now. And I'm on my way up to uh, finish spreading some fertilizer. I shouldn't say I am. We are on the way up. We got Miss Daisy Girl. So I have a different fertilizer supplier coming up this afternoon. We used Nutrient out of, we used a depot out of Clinton yesterday. And uh, this this time we're gonna use the local one, Eberhardt's, just because the, the, one, new, the one we used yesterday is out of fertilizer, no big deal. So we're gonna head up there right now and by the time I get up there in about 15, 12, 15 minutes, fertilizer should just be about there. Well, my tender driver beat me here by about two minutes. So I better kick her in high gear. And I just realized I don't wanna park my car right next to the field because I have fertilizer on it. Well, let's go. Rolling. Let's get her going. I'm gonna finish this trial up. Basically a couple strips. So we'll go back and redo that trial. Uh, Rise that I'm using is basically a map replacement. So I still need to put the rest of my fertilizer on, which is my calcium, sulfur, and uh, phosphorus. So we'll do that real quick and then uh, come back and get the rest of it. Moving. Daisy is not appreciated bouncing through the fields. But I think she likes being up here anyway. Film. So the only downside that I see about this not being a fair comparison is the fertilizer depot I actually told them they mixed up a little bit extra map. So instead of having one part uh, rise absorb, one part map, I'm doing one part rise absorb, 1.25 parts map. So it's not gonna be an apples to apples comparison, but it'll be it'll be close enough. Like I'm, I'm still confident this comparison will still be good. So we're just getting filled up right now with the rest of the fertilizer for my farm. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be done. We'll be uh, having this comparison, get it on the road. Day two chiseling. Done at the long farm yet. Doing our horseshoe field. You can tell I got that done over there. Um, this field goes over the hill too. That's done. So I'm just kind of working on the long rows here. This is what I got left going good knock on wood so far hopefully gonna get this done tonight and uh, might have to do another field we'll see what dad thinks but um, it's a little clumpy we got plenty of moisture in the ground but sounds like we're gonna get more rain so that'll help break down some of the clumps that are coming up but Chisel's doing good overall, I would say. Able to go about, oh, going uphill five and a half, and then coming back the other way, I'm able to go one gear faster, go about six mile an hour. Pretty decent for the old cat. I'm just gonna get out and check, see what type of job I'm doing. So like I said, I got a new uh, new form of product coming out. Higher rate, different density, etc. So I'm just going out to just kind of see how good a job we're doing. It's coming out. That's uh, <laughs> that's good. This is just what the doctor ordered. See how far we're throwing it. Yeah, right about here. Honestly, density is pretty good. It's right at 100 feet, or distribution, I should say. Right at 100 feet, we look pretty good. Okay, so now we're just basically filling in the gaps of our test strip. So this is the uh, production solution that we have. It's roughly a couple bucks an acre more than our uh, than the Rises Orb solution. So we'll just kind of have to see if the cost savings it basically nets out with uh, on price or on yield when we get, when it comes down to it. So time will tell. Let's go ahead and hammer down. What do you think, Daisy? So I am finding I can see the fertilizer when it's getting all the way out there. I can just see like little specks hitting the dirt and grass and stuff. 
So it is kind of neat. It's kind of helping me watch my uh, spreader speed because I got to watch my spreader speed when I'm getting at these higher rates for fertilizer. It's kind of dropping down what, my, what I want. I actually had to go out and adjust my needle valve up. That RPM right there, 630. I want it to be right around 630 to 650. So if I go much faster, I see it drop. When I see it drop, I just not get my distribution. But for sure my width. So. It's going good though. Getting her done. The only thing that kind of sucks is spreading fertilizer in soft ground. I actually just about almost spun out going up that hill. Just carrying a lot of weight up through here, so I'm definitely glad we're going to come in here with the second pass. That just kind of oh, it, uh, emphasizes the importance of getting your fertilizer on early in the fall. That we don't have to worry about soft ground. Like right here, I might have to take a wide turn. That's a lot of weight pushing me down the hill. Getting her done. Whoo! Okay, my farm is done, fertilized. That's good. I'm looking forward to it. I got one trial in this farm, which is pretty sweet. So again, we got basically four chunks, one there, one there, one here, and one over there. So hopefully we'll get a good uh, cross representation or a good cross-sectional sample to see how uh, good this rhizozoa product is. So don't you worry guys, we'll be checking in on this uh, on the product and on the growing. I believe we're gonna do two videos throughout the growing season and one at harvest, so stay tuned guys. But if you if you guys are interested in Rhizozorb, I highly recommend checking them out. Great guys. And then we'll just have a conversation with them because like I said, the, the way they produce Rhizozorb, ri I don't know if I'm saying Rhizozorb or Rhizorb, but the way they produce it is much more sustainably, much more sustainable. And like I said, they're just great. It's a great company, great guys to chat with. So highly recommend it guys. Okay, I'm going to keep rolling. Set off to the next farm. And I know it's been a while since you guys have seen Daisy, but let me remind you of something. Daisy, there's no greater love between Daisy and a ball. She literally will do nothing. She won't look at you, Daisy. Sorry, she'll look at you just for like a half a second just to check the box. Oh, you want to go play fetch? Uh -uh. Don't you dare jump off. So I'm waiting on the fertilizer truck. This green bin here is actually pretty fun. I can just throw it off of that and she just runs the bin, runs back to me. Throw it off from the bin, run back. That's what I like to see. Fertilizer. This is granular fertilizer. So corn or soybeans needs a base source of macronutrients. So when we pull crops out every year, that pulls nutrients from the soil. So we try to replenish it with granular fertilizer as well as in hydrosomodra for corn. So that's what we're doing. I think I tired you out. Tired, pup. Wish I had some water for you. Sorry, pups. Fertilizer should be coming here shortly. There's my unit. So 13 mile an hour is pretty comfortable for me. So that's basically, I'm at my limit for my rate at the current settings I'm at. If I go 15th gear, 15 mile an hour, I just can't get there my rate. I need to basically up my, uh, I need to up, open my gate so it lets more fertilizer out. But honestly, I'm okay with what I'm doing here. 13 mile an hour is cruising. <laughs> Here comes a vertical tail. Made quick work of that field, quite literally 10 minutes, max, not much. So you guys might be wondering what the heck's this stuff right here. If you guys remember back in this video, back in the fall, this was inline ripped. Basically taking the compaction out of this. Gotta turn. A little bumpy but you know what it works always a price for something i'm glad i did that for knocking out that compaction pretty hefty hills i'm gonna climb in here um i'm pretty sure i just killed a bird's nest so one of those uh shoot what are they called oh they're the really loud ones that act like they're hurt but anyway she was right in front of my tire and she was standing her ground as long as she could but i was coming right at it 
and I wasn't stopping. Just about empty. I'm gonna get out and make sure I still have a decent amount left. Look tail, get out. See how much fertilizer I got left? Fertilizer's everywhere, that's good. Oh. Yeah, I still got a good amount left. Okay, let's bounce. So I'm just doing my uh, daily servicing. There is some grease certs on this. You get a grease daily. Probably the worst one is the drive shaft. You gotta grease this daily. And you gotta use a tool to get the cover off. It's not horrible, but kind of sucks you gotta do that. Daisy chasing after me. You watch yourself, dog. First time, I, first time letting her off her leash. Trusting her. I do not like it when she goes behind me, though. Oh no, guys! Oh no! 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 Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, the new truck. On the bright side, it happened to Pat, not anybody else. Stuff happens on the farm. I just was praying that it was nobody other than Pat to make the first dent. Ah, shoot. We'll get this guy out of here. How are we gonna put the light bar on now? Wait a minute. All right, P. Following a deer sprayer, a newer one too. Oh, he is going right. It's our lucky day, so we're going left. Got her finished up. Headed home. Good tunes and beautiful nights. All right, we're just gonna move some vehicles around. The dad and I are gonna be gophers and move some tanks around. So bringing my vehicle back home and we'll bring Curtis's vehicle back home. There's Curtis just pulling into the five acre Elvira bottom piece. We'll have that done in no time and head up to the longs. Okay, we made it down here. Curtis's truck I'm gonna take back. This tank's going to Preston, that tank's going to Clinton. So I'll hook that up and then we'll get me hooked up. South Farm is done though. So this time of year in hydras is a very uh, common thing. They're, they're slow moving and we, sometimes you get a haul at night. So we try to be as safe as possible. We put that beacon light on dad's and I actually got a second one I ordered. So we'll, uh, like I said, try to be as safe as possible. There goes one, okay, it's got my light on. Let's roll. Good to go. Heading north. South Farm's done. Got all our tanks done. Tanks picked up. Tell you what, what a beautiful night that we had. I think those guys were wanting me not to pull in because they wanted to go home here shortly. But I just gave it back to the depot. We'll drop this sucker off. Nathan made it back from Long's. He just got done chiseling, so he's actually hooking up the 400 to the VT because he's going to take that up north and try to get all the VT in done tomorrow. There's Curtis right there. You can barely see him through the tinted windows. He is right there. Now I'm just negotiating some hills. Pulling in the field. There's the Budman's. I'll set mine kind of halfway near his. That's good enough. Good enough. Gonna play rescue duty for Curtis. Must have lost a pin or something, not even 100% sure. But, there's the Bud Man. Well, he made it. Now, the real question is can I make it in here? This thing's a, a mammoth behind me. Oh, yeah, not a problem. So, Budley's gonna go way down the hill. I'm just gonna stay up on top of the hill. Let's go unhook. She did good, old girl. Let the old girl cool down for a little bit. A little tough pull. Well, what a day. 
And the day's not even done yet. Curtis just broke down, so Nathan's on his way to go go rescue Curtis in a flat tire. So I am gonna head home because I go work tomorrow at six in the morning. Plus, if I, oh, I plan on taking a half day tomorrow, so in order to be able to do that, I need to get to work on time. So we're going to go ahead and call it night, guys. Appreciate the video. Appreciate you watching. It was a big, big day. We hope we're gonna have one more big day because tomorrow night, storms, again. So window short, might just be a short spring this year, but we gotta do, we gotta make hay while the sun shines quite literally. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and ta-ta for now.